Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 9 students. Sa video lesson na ito ay itutuloy natin ang inyong learning task number 2. Number 4, we have y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. Ang value ng a ay positive 2, ang value ng b is negative 4, at ang value ng c is negative 8. First, find the vertex that is hk. Ang formula ng h ay negative b over 2a. By substitution, that is negative times ang b natin is negative 4 over 2 times ang a natin is 2. Simplify, negative times negative is equal to positive 4, then 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 divided by 4 equals positive 1. And then, yung k naman, that is 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. By substitution, that is equal to 4 times ang a natin is 2 times ang c natin is negative 8 minus ang b natin is negative 4 squared all over 4 times 2. Simplify, 4 times 2 is equal to 8 times negative 8 is equal to negative 64 minus negative 4 squared is equal to positive 16 over 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Ngayon, simplify natin. Negative 64 minus 16, pareho sila ng sign. Just add. So, 64 plus 16 is equal to 80. And then, copy their sign that is negative over 8. So, negative 80 divided by 8 is equal to negative 10. So, meron na tayong vertex na positive 1, negative 10. Ilalagay natin yan dito. Kaya, meron na rin tayong axis of symmetry since ang h ay equal siya sa x. Ang h natin is positive 1, meaning to say, ang axis of symmetry natin is positive 1 din. Then, pwede na rin natin isulat yung range. Pero bago yan, tingnan nyo muna yung value ng a kung greater than 0 ba siya or less than. Kung greater than 0, then that is y such that y is greater than or equal to k. Ang k natin is negative 10, so ang range natin is y, such that y is greater than or equal to negative 10. Ibig sabihin yan, yung magiging minimum point natin or yung pinakabababa is negative 10. Alright? So, ano naman ang domain? It is the set of all real numbers. Kasi, pag parabola, pwede mong maging x values yung Values sa x-axis. Ano naman ang opening of the parabola? So, based from the definition, kapag ang a natin is positive, then ang parabola natin opens upward. Okay. So, next, kunin na natin ang x-intercept by letting y is equal to 0. Ang 0 yung y, so magiging 0 to. 0 is equal to 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. Then, para makuha natin yung x-intercept, let us solve for x. So, gagamit tayo ng quadratic formula. Pero kung kabisado ninyo ang factoring, pwede rin naman kung factorable siya. So, ang gagamitin ko ay quadratic formula. That is negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. By substitution, that is equal to negative times negative 4 plus minus square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times ang a natin is 2 times ang c natin is negative 8 all over 2 times ang a natin is 2. Simplify. Negative times negative 4 equals positive 4 plus minus square root of negative 4 squared is equal to positive 16 minus 4 times 2 is equal to negative 8, times negative 8 equals positive 64. All over, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 
Then simplify. 16 plus 64 is equal to 80. Paghiwalayin na natin. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Using your calculator, ang square root ng 80 is 4 square root of 5. Divided by 4 is equal to square root of 5. Ang katumbas ng square root of 5 ay 2.23, rounding to the nearest 100. Okay? So, meron na tayong 1 plus minus 2.23. Unahin natin yung plus. What is 1 plus 2.23? That is 3.23. What is 1 minus 2.23? That is equal to negative 1.23. So, ang x-intercept natin is 3.23, 0, and negative 1.23, 0. Ngayon, kunin naman natin yung y-intercept. Let x is equal to 0. So, ang magiging function is y is equal to 2 times 0 squared minus 4 times 0 minus 8. So, syempre, magiging 0 yan. Ang matitira is negative 8. Nasundan ninyo? Meaning, ang y-intercept natin is 0, negative 8. Kasi 0 ito, negative 8. We can now graph this quadratic function. Una, i-plot natin yung vertex. Ang vertex natin is 1, negative 10. So, 1, negative 10. So, nandito siya. And then, we have x-intercept na 3.23. So, nasaan ang 3.23? Nasa medyo malapit lang din sa 3 na kulang sa kalahati. So, nandyan siya. And then, we have negative 1.23. So, malapit lang din siya sa negative 1 at hindi siya sa sobra dapat ng kalahati. So, dyan natin ilalagay. Tapos, ang ating y-intercept is 0, 0, negative 8. So, dyan naman natin ilalagay. Then, i-connect na natin yung mga points smoothly. So, meron na tayong parabola na ganyan. Okay, nasundan nyo na. So, marami pa tayong igagraph sa learning task number 3. So, kaya mag -ready, ready na kayo ng inyong mga graphing paper. Alright, so maraming salamat sa inyong panonood Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!